Hey, that's me, Gerald Franks. I love backpacking and I've decided to backpack the Colorado Trail, but I'm going to be doing it a bit differently than most. Since I don't have the time to take four or five weeks off from my job, I've decided to break it up in 100 mile sections over the course of a week for the next five years. I've done plenty of backpacking over the last 10 years, but typically for three to four nights and at the most 40 miles. This would be a completely new adventure and next step in my backpacking evolution. This is my story. Morning, day three on the Colorado Trail. Starting off on segment 18, about 9.8 miles in. Got about four and a half to go to finish up. And today, it's gonna be a much lighter day. The first two days, like 22.1 and 22.7 miles. And yeah, I was kind of tired after that. Today is only 18, so it should be 18 of some easier hiking too. So I say that as I go up a hill. But that's what we're looking at today. Hopefully we'll have some better views in the first couple segments. All right, just a few things from last night I'd like to uh, report on. So, you know, I went 22.7 miles. Uh, yesterday into camp so i knew i was going to get into camp around 6 6 30. well about a mile and a half man there were thunder clouds rolling all over me uh, i was getting rained on a little bit but you could see that it was coming like a big storm was coming and i was still about a mile and a half away from camp let me tell you that last mile and a half were probably my two fastest um it was probably my fastest mile um all day just trying to get into camp before uh before the rain comes and it seemed like it was going to die down a little bit so i thought maybe i kind of missed it i tell you as soon as i put up my tent it just it just bottom fell out and whew. so thank you lord for a good time in there getting to uh, camp a little bit earlier than i thought I made some good miles, some good time at the end of the day and getting that tent set up. just finished up segment 18 and still continuing on a Jeep road for segment 19 there was no trailhead no no really indication that the segment ended except for me just checking my my map on GPS so hopefully we will be able, we're supposed to get through segment 19 today and camp towards the end of it. A few miles in, uh, a few miles, probably a couple miles into segment 19, and much better. As you can see, it's more uh, open views than uh, the other ones. Just past a water source that had a dead, rotting cow in it. So, luckily, uh, the book or my guidebook told me about it, uh, the online one. So I was already, I had enough water, didn't have to stop. Whew, that was ripe. 
that smell. Whew, was a ripe smell. But 7 and 19 off to a good start so far. And it's wide open. Enjoying just walking through some of these meadows. There's a baby calf right there and he's been mooing for probably the last 20 minutes and I think his mama is right, right there because that one keeps on mooing out too and I think they're trying to get in touch with each other. Whew. Crazy weather we're having today here on day three. Segment, segment 19 has been really pretty. It's had some nice uh, uh, valley views, um, actually some water. Um, it's big blue skies this morning and plenty of sunshine and thought it was gonna be a beautiful day. Stopped to have lunch. Gonna start laying my stuff out to dry. And then in about 15 minutes, clouds start rolling in as I go. So my tent got a little dry, not all the way. And then it rained for probably the next couple hours. And then I had a nice stream cross in here where I was able to um, see the sun came out again. And again, so I laid out my tent. Maybe 15 minutes later, it started raining. You can see the raincoat I still have on. The sun looks like it's peeking out right now. So hopefully, it's hard to tell. It's like there's clouds all around us. It's hard to tell where the the rain is coming from but it's been it's been on and off but uh tent is dry so i should be able to sleep dry tonight which is always a blessing good morning everyone uh day four <clears throat> and we are heading out on segment 20. so the view should be hopefully getting better we're going to climb up to uh, san luis pass and view should be pretty good. About seven in the morning, have about uh, 17 miles to go. So again, not another big day, uh, but a big pass to get over. So hoping to get into camp earlier tonight. And yeah, hopefully we'll have some, uh, some better views today than, uh, than normal. These are the big mountain views I've been waiting for. So I made it to the top of um, that pass. And now I'm heading down a little bit. 
Got a couple more climbs today and then should be done. Hopefully get in camp between four and five. Hopefully the weather will hold out. It has rained. I think it has rained every every day so far. Yeah, it's rained every day. Uh, last two nights. So hopefully today will be a, a rain-free day. Alright. See you in the next view. Now this is the Colorado Trail that I know and love and come back to any year. Those first few segments. Whew, they're tough on the feet, tough on the spirit when it's raining and then you don't get rewarded with views like this. Oh man. So you can see there's one more pass right there we have to climb for today. I think that is actually San Luis Pass. I'm not sure what the pass is that we just came over. That is San Luis Peak. That's where I just came from, the saddle over there. So, beautiful, absolutely beautiful. All right, that's pass number two in the books. This is actually San Luis Pass. Um, should be down here to the end of the segment. I think just probably a mile or two. And then we get into segment 21. Yeah, excited about that. Alright, segment 20 is in the books, and I think I have about four miles to go, uh, maybe two, hopefully, hopefully it's just two, gotta check the map, but uh, one more big climb for the day, and then we'll be done. Final pass of the day. Thought that last one was gonna kill me. But the views are amazing. Yes, they are. I have about a little less than three miles to camp. Most of it should be down here. There might be a little ups, but big climbing's over for the day. I believe that's the San Juans. And that flat part. I think it's what they call Snow Mesa. That's where you're gonna be above tree line for a while. That's where we're headed. That's where we're headed. All right, three things I hate most about hiking, because it's fresh on the mind, and I'm in the trifecta here. One is finish the day on an uphill climb. I never want to finish the day on an uphill climb no matter how hard it is. Two, that hip pebble climb is like a thousand feet up and a mile kind of steep, you know? And third, miscalculating your distance, thinking you had two miles when you really have four miles. And that's where I'm at right now. I'm almost to the top, but I'm kind of done. This is my fourth pass of the day and I'm just ready to be at camp, resting. All right, that is pass number four. And I know it's down <laughs> the rest of the way, no more up. So, whew, 16.7 turned into 18.7. And one good climb turned into four. So this was a shorter day than like the 22, 23, but whew, a little more physical demanding. But beautiful. I mean, look, it is stunning up here.